So three years ago, I made a video on me getting this 2014 BMW X1. It's gotten some pretty good views. People still comment on it. So people seem to still be interested, we'll just say. So I thought some might be interested in a three-year update. So I have, when I made that video, my car had 67,000 miles. It now has about 120,000 miles. So what is that? 53,000 miles in three years. So I've been putting on about 17, 18,000 miles a year. So been definitely using the car. I've been driving it, daily driving it, drive it everywhere. I've taken it on many road trips, including a 2,000 mile road trip all throughout California. So anyway, the amount of miles I've been putting on it and how often I've been using it could should kind of show you just right there how the car has been doing. It's been doing great. I haven't had almost any problems with this car. So, um, car is a little bit dirty, of course. Um, but basically this thing has had almost no major mechanical problems. I've never been broken down on the side of the road in this thing. Switched to the black plates uh, from the last video. But yeah, haven't been broken down on the side of the road in this thing. Um, I've just been servicing it at the dealership every about five to 7,000 miles. Um, just basic maintenance. I've replaced some belts and done spark plugs and all sorts of uh, basic stuff. But I've had almost no major mechanical issues whatsoever. The only issues I have had is one of the front sensors went out and on the parking sensors and i guess it's like a christmas tree um, wiring so when one goes out it gives you a fault and it they all stop working so and then that seems to have then affected the backup camera but it's not a big deal because i don't get the warning light anymore about that and my backup camera just doesn't work so I just, I don't want to pay to get all that fixed. Don't really care. Don't, I mean, I know how to drive a car and I know how to back up. So don't feel like I need to go deal with having a front parking sensor replaced and then having it all reset and it being at the dealership, probably be a few hundred bucks to have all that fixed. Don't feel like dealing with that because I don't really feel like I need it. So anyway, um, windshield, I had a rock chip, I believe it was up here, and then of course it went all the way down the windshield. That's not really the car's fault, that's just kind of annoying, but I haven't gotten a new windshield. Um, tires, the tires on this were the OEM tires I got new when I got this, which were Bridgestone run flat tires. And they lasted about um, 35,000 miles. So not too bad, but not too good. They were a little bit sketchy on the second winter that I had them. Um, and then I, so I just replaced them with these Lexanis that were, these are Lexani run flat tires. And so they're literally half the price as the Bridgestones. And I've been through a winter on these Lexanis and they were just fine in the snow. And then they ride actually even a little softer than the Bridgestones and they've been great. So, and they look like they're on track to last about the same. They look like they're on track to last about 30, 40,000 miles as well. So I'll probably just gonna go with Lexanis again next time. And that was the Lexani RFX Plus run flat tire if you're wanting to find some good run flat tires for a bmw um, those tires actually just barely came out right when i had bought them so there were no reviews on them none so i'm like a first tester i guess on these run uh Lexani run flats but they've been they've been fine and yeah i've there's not much else to say because i have not really had any issues so and on top of everything else i haven't had any 
I haven't had any rattles. Like, the car hasn't developed any sort of strange rattles or anything like that. Um, I had a Jaguar XF and it had really bad dash bubbling on the leather, leather and it had a really loud rattle coming from the glove box that couldn't be solved. This vehicle has been built pretty well, it seems like to me. Haven't developed any rattles. It rides great still. Um, so not much else to say other than I'm pretty impressed. So this vehicle is based on a 3 Series. And it's based on the 3 Series from like the late 2000s. So it's like, I mean, that's a platform that how many hundreds of thousands of those cars did they sell? So it's like a tried and true platform. So maybe I feel like that's why this 2014 X1 has been holding up pretty well. I've looked on Auto Trader and there's people trying to sell X1s that have well over 200,000 miles. So seems to be a pretty good car. Um, I'm going to knock on wood right here. This is actually wood, knocking on wood, that uh, the car continues to be reliable because, of course, everybody always says, oh, owning a BMW with over 100,000 miles, what a nightmare, what a nightmare. So I'm at 120, so we'll we'll see how it keeps going.